life in Shropshire, one supposes. I see you have a volume. Is it poetry? No, but let me tell you about it. It was a stupid mistake to make, but it was on the counter with the artists and all the other penguin books. The little ones, you know, with the paper covers? And I suppose, of course, it was a detective story. All the others were detective stories. I read all the others, so I bought this one without really looking at it carefully. You can imagine how mad I was when I thought it was Shakespeare. Oh, dear. I don't see why the penguin <coughs> <laughs> I don't know. Or oh, going to do. Exactly. And I was just crazy for a good actor for Christy or something. Hercule Poirot is a big detective. Is he the brother's one? Oh, no. He's the Belgian one. You're thinking of Mr. Pinkerton, the one that helps Inspector the bowl? He's good, too. I expect that an expert like yourself is often able to figure out the identity of the murderer in advance. Oh, um, I'm not as smart as Hercule Poirot. At least one of his mysteries fooled me completely. Really? You see, there was this woman standing over the body with a pistol in her hand. And it turned out that the victim had been shot. Open and shut case, I should think. Oh, much too open and shut. I thought right away that she hadn't done it. But would you believe it? She really had. Only she hadn't used that one pistol. You see, she had switched pistols and she'd done it with another gun instead of that one gun. I see. For all the wrong woman, wasn't she? <laughs> Tell me, did you really get that? I had to. There was no scrapping anything else for me in the entire room. Did you like it? No, I did not. <laughs> in the first place, I don't think for a moment that McBath did it. Did what? I don't think for a moment that he killed the king. I don't think that McBath <laughs> was mixed up in it either. You suspect them the most, of course. But those are the ones who are never guilty, or shouldn't be anyway. I'm afraid I don't see But what don't you see? <laughs> who would spoil everything if you could figure out right away who the killer was? Shakespeare was too smart for that. I bet the people never have figured out Hamlet, so it isn't likely Shakespeare would have made me as simple as it seems. Who do you suspect? Make duck. Good duck. Well, <laughs> <laughs> make duck did it all right. Hercule Poirot would have gone on to me. How did you figure it out? Well, I did right away. At first, I suspected Matt Clough, and then, of course, I suspected the second person killed. That was good right there for that part. The person who suspected the second murder should always be the second person killed. Is that so? Oh, yes. They have to keep surprising you. Well, after the second murder, I wasn't sure who the killer was for a while. How about Malcolm or Donovan? The King's sons. As I remember, they fled right after the first murder. That looks suspicious. Much too suspicious. When they take it on the land, they're never guilty. You can count on that. I think I'll have a brand. <laughs> Do you remember who discovered Duncan's body? I'm sorry, but I forgot. Exactly discovers it. Then he comes running downstairs and shouts, Confusion has broke up from the Lord's anointed temple, and sacrilegious murder has made his masterpiece. And on and on like that. All that stuff was rehearsed. You wouldn't say a lot of stuff offhand like that, would you? If you had found a body. I uh, no. You're right. You wouldn't. You must have practiced beforehand. An innocent man would say, My God, there's a body in here. <laughs> Guilty actions there when Banquo's ghost came in and sat in his chair. There wasn't any ghost. A big strong man like that doesn't go around seeing ghosts, especially in a brightly lighted banquet hall with dozens of people around. Macbeth was shielding somebody. Who was he shielding? Mrs. Macbeth, of course. He thought she did it, and he was going to take the rap himself. The husband always does that with the wife who suspected. But what about the sleepwalking scene? The same thing, only the other way around. This time, she was shielding him. She wasn't asleep at all. Do you remember where it says, Enter Lady Macbeth the table? Yes. Well, people who walk in their sleep never carry lights. They have second sight. Have you ever heard of a sleepwalker carrying a light? No, I can't say I have. Well then, she wasn't asleep. She was acting guilty to shield Macbeth. I think I'll have some more brandy. <laughs> I feel you've got a little something there. Would you lend me that Macbeth? I'd like to look it over again tonight. 
I don't feel, however, that I ever really read it. <laughs> <laughs>